Welcome to Timeless Devotions with Classic Christianity. My sister and I would like to share a treasure we found in our mother's attic, our grandfather's writings. For over 50 years, Papa was internationally known as the preacher of the timeless Word of God. Please join us now for a five-minute devotional taken from the books, Classic Christianity, A Year of Timeless Devotions, based on the writings of the Reverend L.A. Mead. Our devotion today is entitled, The Hardest Word, and our key verse is Genesis 39, 8, But he refused. What is the word which lays a foundation upon which to build character? What is the word that in the great crises of the life of Jesus Christ, he pronounced to conquer Satan? That word, the hardest in the Bible or out of it, the hardest in English, French, Spanish, Arabic, or any other language, is the short but mighty word, no. The difficulty of saying no has made men slaves to others and still worse, slaves to their own passions and fears. For the lack of a no spoken to the tempter, man fell in the beginning and millions have fallen since. Adam was a great man. He must have been a notable lexicographer, a master of vocabulary, for we are told that he was able to give names to all the birds of the air and beasts of the field. But Adam was not able to pronounce the most useful, most difficult word in human speech. No. Let us look at Joseph and his forceful no. After the temptation of Christ himself, Joseph's is the most celebrated story of temptation in the Bible. Joseph's temptation was unusually strong because of the person of the tempter. He was young. She was a woman of rank, beauty, and fashion. Physically, it was undoubtedly a strong temptation, but it was also a strong temptation because she tempted him day after day. Constantly, he was under this temptation, yet he refused it. Also, Joseph was in a foreign land where his values were not understood. It would have been very easy to excuse giving in to this lovely tempter. Yet Joseph met this temptation with a magnificent no. He refused. He suffered and lost everything the world counts precious, but he held on to his character and to God. And God, as the scriptures tell us, kept hold of him. It was because of this integrity in Joseph that God was able to use him as an agent of deliverance from starvation for the embryonic house of Israel. Joseph's is not the only wonderful no in the Bible. Remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Daniel's three friends refused to bow down in worship to the golden image that the king had set up. These Hebrew lads had been brought up on the second commandment. You shall not make any graven image. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them. Therefore, they refused to prostrate themselves. The king's wrath landed them in a furnace, but God rewarded their fidelity by a great deliverance. They stood up for their convictions. Do I? And what of Christ? There were three memorable occasions when Jesus said no. The first was when the devil tempted him in the wilderness and thrice tried to sway him from his mission. The second no came in the Garden of Gethsemane when Satan again tried to turn him from Calvary. The third and last time was when the mob at Calvary mocked him, calling out, If you are the Christ, the Son of God, come down from the cross, save yourself and us. Jesus' answer was no, except he said, It is finished. Satan was finished. Christ told us that the great business of his followers is to say no. We are to deny ourselves, take up the cross, and say no to the world as we follow him. Dearest Jesus, help me to turn my back on the alluring calls of the world and set my sights firmly on you. Strengthen my resolve, dear Lord, to live a life that is pleasing to you in every aspect. Help me to say no to the world in order that I can say yes to you. In Jesus' name, amen. We hope you will visit us online at www.classicchristianity.net. Check our online store for devotionals for the whole family, including the At Papa's Knee series of children's devotionals and the books from which these radio broadcasts are taken, Classic Christianity, A Year of Timeless Devotions. These are all available on our website, www.classicchristianity.net. Thank you for joining us for Timeless Devotions with Classic Christianity.